How pretty. You grow all those plants? Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I am a That's plant girl. Crazy. That's okay. I have them all in my window, so I have them all in my window still too. So I love plants. Like my roommate. She's like really good with that. I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm just amazed. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's kind of hard when I'm gone like half the week. So I'm like, stay alive, babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm like, I'm wondering where everyone else is. I'm like, this is odd. They're usually on by now. Huh. Okay. I'm trying to get. Aris Sally, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Go back to where, uh, let's see. Goodness. Maybe everyone woke up late. I'm like, where is everyone? They're usually like right on it. Yeah, like, especially okay. Destiny. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I said especially Destiny, yeah. Back here. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're reviewing today. I don't want to come in. Okay, here's Raquel. Okay. What? Okay, there's Destiny. <laughs> I was wondering what happened to everybody. <laughs> I literally was wondering what happened to everybody. Okay. Hi, who am I sp speaking to? The young lady with the blonde hair. Galaxy 5G. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why I couldn't see her face at all. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to get everything I need. Okay. All right. Um, Miss Janie, are we just reviewing today or what are we doing? Yeah, we're going to review today. Okay. 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 Um. Here we go. Oh, um, also, do you think we'll be able to um, do facials on our friends this weekend? Um, I'll, have, I'll ask her, okay, as soon as I find out. Okay, because I, I think we're so. um, in red. Yeah, because you got your product. Yeah, you got your product. Mm -hmm. There we go. Where is everybody? I'm like, what happened to everyone? I like, I got news for Avery, okay. <laughs> oh, about your laptop. Yeah, okay, Avery, guess what? What's up? Okay, so like, you know, I'm not the computer savvy, right? But uh -huh. I think I might have got it to work. Okay, I haven't had any issues with it this morning. So what happened? I ran one of those diagnostics that's on the computer. Yeah. And it actually did something because the things that were coming up before were not coming up now. Oh, okay. So, so you like, just fingers like, crossed. <laughs> yeah, you just troubleshooted it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping, hoping that is. Yeah, hope if it works, that's totally awesome. Then um, if it doesn't, just let me know. And he said that he can remote in. All you okay. have to do is download an app and then it literally lets you remote into the computer so he could like run more. Because he was pretty much just going to do what you did was run like diagnostics first uh -huh. just to like find the uh -huh, just see what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm so glad it's working. We're crossing fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we're just crossing fingers because <laughs> I'm like all of a sudden the things that were coming up before didn't come up. I was like, that's odd. Cause that should have popped up like immediately, especially from I, like when I started up, it should have started right at the beginning. Cause that's when it would get crazy on me. And then it was fine. And then, but what, halfway through the lecture, then it would go kind of crazy. So I was like, okay, something's odd. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed then. <laughs> yeah, I'm just crossing my fingers. 
I even called my girlfriend, the one that I got the computer from. She said the same thing. She goes, well, did you try? I go, yeah, I did. And I go, and everything's fine now <laughs> for some reason. I'm going, but we're going we're gonna to check it out. <laughs> the true test is when I'm doing four hours of Zoom to make sure it doesn't, you know, get all crazy on me. There's got to be more people than this today. Let me start taking roll here. Um, got Sarah. Good morning. If I didn't say hello to you, I'm just going through um, roll sheet right now. Did you guys study? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I was getting the words out for so long. I don't know why it took me like as long as it did, but it really was going into the night. Yeah, I was up pretty it's late. A last pretty week. Big I was chapter. Late. It's a pretty big chapter. It took me more than four hours. It took me like six and a half, seven <laughs> hours. I don't know why, but it did. So hopefully I did it right. <laughs> well, do you have your sheets in front of you? Yeah. Okay, because we're just going to go through and I'll ask questions and see if you guys can answer them, see what you've retained in your head. Okay, but you can check your um, your little cheat sheet, I guess you would call it, <laughs> your study guide, right? Oh. Okay. All right, who else am I missing here? Um, we got, I can't say, no, I got everyone. Okay, so I'm still missing a couple of people. Let me check my zip. No. I don't see anybody else in here. No messages. So I don't think any of you have actually gone through this chapter yet once. You know what I mean? I think it's more like Diana and Catalina. You know what I mean? They've been through this chapter once, at least once anyways. So there's Miranda. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got one more. Let me grab my little sweater. All right. This thing, the temperature goes up and down and up and down. <laughs> and I'm not even changing the dials. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got what? 10.05? I'm going to give them what? A couple more minutes before they can get on because sometimes it's hard if they're the last one's trying to get on and then they're they're calling Donovan saying I can't get on because everybody's trying at the same time. Good morning Sarah. <laughs> Good morning Araceli. <laughs> Good morning Good Jasmine. Morning. <laughs> you guys all have your um and good morning Yusra. Is there anybody I missed? Miranda good morning. Gianna. <laughs> All right, if I missed you, go ahead and say hello. Hi, Already sorry. That's okay, you're fine. I just want to make sure everybody has their like their study guide in front of them so that we can go through test questions and just mix them up a little bit so that see if you can retain any of that information because you all studied so hard yesterday. Like I said, it's a pretty big chapter and sometimes it almost needs like a second go over. Most of the other ones, the other chapters are pretty simple. I, I'm really gonna tell you that much. They're pretty simple. This one, it kind of combined a lot of chapters into one because when it's broken down on a cosmetology side, it's a lot more intense. So all those words that I gave you the first time, those of you in my class, that's what they had. <laughs> Oops. Um, are we gonna have time to study a little before the test or are we gonna go straight into it? No, I'll give you a little bit of time. Um, Miranda, it was for yesterday's homework. Remember, you were supposed to define those words. 
So the key terms? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. That will help you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I got you confused. <laughs> I call it like a study guide at the end because I give a key terms at the beginning of the chapter, but then this one was basically, I wanted you to go through the test questions and kind of rewrite them. I know it was a rewriting kind of procedure, but that's the only way we're going to start retaining that stuff, believe it or not. It's like the yeah, first time- Yeah, honestly, I couldn't remember anything. Well, not anything, but I was looking at the words when we first started and I was like, oh my God. But now that we've like repeated it so much, I kind of am starting to remember some things. Yeah, what's kind of easy though is this part, okay? You have three layers of the skin that, that we talk about. We talk about the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous. The epidermis is always starting off with stratum, okay? So you know anything that's got stratum in front of it, that's part of the epidermis. Um, the dermis now has two layers and it's known as the papillary, which is first, and then the reticular. And the papillary basically is where all like sensation, you know, blood vessels, all that kind of stuff. Because when it gets into the reticular, it goes down towards the subcutaneous. It's not as many um, nerves down. So they just want you to know that what is in, inside of the dermis, okay, and what the layers of the epidermis actually do, okay. So it gets down to the dermis being, you've got a hair follicle in there, you've got your sweat pores, okay? So basically that's what they want you to understand. And, and, and it is a lot of disorders and diseases, but most of you, I think, I would say probably all of you have at least heard half of those words before, before you came to this class on the disorders, diseases, conditions, correct? You knew, you knew you've heard about eczema, you've heard about psoriasis, right? Okay, so so that's pretty much where it is. It's just don't let it get you overwhelmed. Okay, let's put it that way. Don't let it get overwhelmed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. All right. So I'm going to ask a question, and if you guys know the answer, put your hand up first. That way we can see if somebody's going to try and get the answer. Okay. All right, here comes Alex. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll wait till she gets in here. Good morning. Alex, do you have your um, key terms or your test questions in front of you? Pretty much your definitions? Good, okay, so we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna ask the question, if you know the answer, put your little thumbs up or something so that I can call on you. Okay, so let's see how we do. All right, the first question is, what is the largest organ of the body? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ready? We're gonna put your thumbs up if you know the sorry. answer. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. Um, which of the following studies refers to the functions of the skin? Etiology, histology, morphology, or skin physiology? Everybody got a hand up. Oh, Gianna. Skin physiology. Sure. Yes. Good. <laughs> We're doing pretty good here. Okay, Miss, what is the microscopic? Oh, what? I, I think I did it. So I did the type two, I just did the definitions of it. Like I got skin color before the sun exposure, fail or pale. What are you talking about, huh? For he's, type he's two. He's randomly going through the questions. They're I'm not, going through the questions. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought we were going in. No, 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 I'm going to be asking questions and you're going to use your study guide to answer them. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is the microscopic study of the skin's tissue called? Oh, Sarah. I don't think I raised my hand. Or secretion, <laughs> regulation. I, you didn't? That was from I got the a last hand in front of me. That's why I'm asking that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think you have to manually okay. like, put your hand down. Are we actually you putting do. our hand up, thumb up? Or are we putting something like, so I can, I can, you know what? I'm going to let you all talk here in just a second. I think I'll just ask the question and you guys can give me the answer. Whoever answers it first. Okay. How's that? <laughs> okay. It's a little difficult for that one, huh? Because the hands just go up and then they stay up. All right. Um, I have to give it to you after my class. 
I really, yeah, I can't really do it right now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Here's the question again. What's the microscopic study of the skin's tissue called? In histology. Histology. Good. In histology. <laughs> All right. The next question is, the integumentary system is made up of which of the following components? Skin and its layers. Good. Wait, what okay. was it? The skin and its layers. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Um, let somebody else in. Hold on. Uh, okay. If you're just joining us, um, if you have your key terms or your test questions filled out, have those in front of you because we're reviewing today. Okay. The trial. Um, excuse me. Okay, next question. Other than the brain, which of the following organs is the most complex? The skin. Good. Okay. All right. Which of the following components is made up of hard keratin? Fingernails. Nails. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. Soft keratin makes up which of the following components? Skin, hair, and nails. Oh. Wait, skin. It's skin and hair, because mm -hmm. it's soft. All right, um, what is the outermost layer of the skin called? Epidermis. Epidermis, Epidermis. good. All right. Um, the subcutaneous layer of the skin is composed primarily of which type of tissue? Connective? No. Fatty tissue. Adipose. adipose. It's adipose. Yeah, it's adipose tissue. Good. <laughs> okay. Huh? I couldn't hear you, so I'm like, okay. Um, which of the following descriptive terms identifies the second layer of skin? Dermis. Okay, you have Dermis. adipose subcutis. Dermis. Someone have an answer? Can you repeat it? Yeah, go ahead. It's the dermis. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, I dermis. Heard, that's what I said, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is the dermis. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. How many functions or how many primary functions are there Six. that the skin Six. provides? Six. What does it stand for? The acronym. Acer. Okay. Do you remember what protection, those stand for? Abs protection, absorption, secretion, sensation, excretion, regulation. Good. Good. Okay. Um, which of the following anatomy terms identifies the tiny passageways that allow the sweat and oil to pass through the surface of the skin? Four. Four. Okay. This one, you have muscles. Good, of course. Okay. Um, which function of the in, of the integumentary system gives the body the ability to maintain its internal body temperature? Regulation. Regulation. Good. Okay. Um, what is the body's largest waste removal system? The skin. Skin. Good. Okay, what is water mixed with salt and other chemicals that have a buildup in the body called? What? What? Okay. What was that? I thought it was sebum. Oh, sebum. Sebum is oil. It's sweat. It's sweat. Yeah. Sweat. Yeah, that one's sweat. Sebum is oil. Yeah, sebum's oil. Okay, um, moving on again to, <laughs> all right. Which layer of the epidermis protects the skin's moisture balance by acting as a barrier to the layers below it? Stratum the stratum corneum. All right. Which cells protect the layers of the skin found below the stratum corneum? 
Does that make any options? Yes. What was it? The I was going to say the I think. Oh. It's, okay, the cells that protect the layer of the skin, um, it's the stratum corneum. Didn't I say that? Stratum corneum? Right? You said what are the cells that protect um, below the stratum corneum? Okay. So we so you have, said the answer. Yeah. Squamous? I said squamous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. All right. <laughs> I got a little confused with my, my lighting here. All right. What are the ridges called that provide the palms of the hands and the soles of your feet with traction? Oh, okay. Um, what options? Are they called like whirls or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. whirls. Yep. It's good. All right. Um, Grain like cells are found in which layer of the epidermis? Granulo 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 kind of sounds like granola. <laughs> granulo. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like granola. <laughs> That's why I gave you an, as an option, right? Okay. Um, in the superficial layers of the epidermis, the cells are what? One option? Dead. Oh, yeah. dead. Okay, good. That's really good. Okay. What is meant by the term true skin? The dermis. The dermis. Mm -hmm. okay. The epidermis is primarily composed of which type of the following components? And let me give you your options. Elastin, collagen, mast cells, or keratinocytes? Collagen. Elastin. Keratinocytes, yeah, keratinocytes. Okay. Um, Keratin is formed from which of the following substances? Fat, protein, nutrients, or carbohydrates? Protein. 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 Okay. All right. Which layer of the skin is located below the dermis and is composed primarily of adipose fatty tissue? Subcutaneous. Sorry, Good. I should wipe Subcutaneous. <laughs> okay. All right. What are the cells called that cover and protect the inside of the body? Now this one's the epithelial. Oh, yeah, it's epithelial. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right, which sublayer of the epidermis is the toughest? Stratum corneum. Yep, good. Because it's on the outside, so obviously, but it's on the inside too, because it's kind of like it lines the inside of our body. All right, the chemical conversion of dead cells into protein, into dead, uh, protein set, dead protein cells is called? Keratinization. Solid. Yep, keratinization, good. All right, there are no blood vessels located in this layer of the skin. Epidermis. Epidermis, good. Okay. All right. Which receptor is responsible for reporting light pressure and cold? Do you want options? Yeah. Okay. Krauss's end bulbs, Ruffini's corpuscles, Meisner's corpuscles, or Paxinian corpuscles? Meisner's. 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 Good. Okay. What do your sudoriferous glands produce? Sweat. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, Let's see, sebaceous gland continually produce and secrete what? Oil. Sebum? Yep, oil or sebum, uh-huh, good. Okay, um, which type of cells help protect the body from infection and are found in the stratum spinosum layer? T cells. Langerhans. Langerhans cells. Oh, I thought it was a little. Yeah, that's a big one because that's gonna be on a, a final. Okay, what's the lowest layer of the epidermis called? Stratum germinativa. Yep, good. Okay, collagen makes up approximately what percentage of the dermis? 70%. 70. 70. Good. Okay, the basal cells of the stratum germinativa continually divide through this process called? Mm -hmm. you have, 
mitosis, good. Okay, this is a fibrous protein that prevents the skin from sagging. Elastin. 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 All right, foreign substances in the body that will provoke an immune response. Pathogens? Antigens. Which? Antigens, yeah, these are antigens. All right, and which of the following organisms represents immune cells that recognize antigens and then insist in de destroying them? T cells. T cells, yes, yeah, good. What's the layer of the epidermis that's called the basal cell called? Stratum germinativum. Right. Okay. Um, what gives skin its color? Melanocytes. Yeah, the melanocytes. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Okay, where are mast cells located? Oh, I just saw this. In the stratum germinativum? In the dermis. They're in the dermis. Oh. Yeah, they're in the dermis. It's okay. Okay. Um, Let's see. Okay, this is, let me read all of this one just to make sure you guys got this. Of the following skin layer component, which is not one of the four main receptors for sensation in the dermal layer? Is it Meisner's corpuscles, eccrine glands, Ruffini's corpuscles, or Krauss end bulbs? Eccrine glands. Eccrine glands, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the next one. All right. Where are the Merkel cells located? Skin. Okay, you have, go ahead. Skin? No, it's gonna be in either the stratum spinosum, the stratum granulosum, the subcutaneous layer, or the stratum germinativum. It's long. This is gonna be the stratum germinativum. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, which type of exfoliation is a physical process that uses an abrasive action combined with a product called? Mechanical exfoliation. Mechanical. Yeah, mechanical, mechanical. exfoliation. Yeah, because it's actually actually working. Okay, when you put on a chemical, you're just applying this, the product and then you leave it alone. Okay, um, when the stratum corneum is too thick from an excess buildup of dead skin cells and improper exfoliation, it's harder for the products to do what? Penetrate the skin. Penetrate the skin, yes. Okay, what is the factor that influences a faster rate at which the ingredient or the product will penetrate the skin? How oily the skin is. The larger pore size. The larger pore size, yeah, because everything else doesn't work. <laughs> it's like out of those, I think there's six of them that they talk about how product gets in there and this is the only way it gets in there faster. So there's somebody with oilier skin, it loves you. <laughs> okay, what is the substance that binds, adds structural strength, and mediates biochemical interactions between the cells? Oh, I just looked up. Intercellular cement? Yep, good, intercellular cement. Okay, um, this one's a not question, so I'm gonna see if you even remember this. Okay, of the following categories, which is not a condition of the skin? Pigmentation disorders, oiliness, rashes, or acne? Oiliness. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sebaceous glands originate from which of the following areas? You have dermis, epidermis, acid mantle, or subcutaneous? Dermis? Dermis. The dermis. Yeah, it's the dermis. Okay, which of the following body components holds bones to other bones to form joints? Ligaments. Ligaments, good. Okay, which of the following types of cells connect the dermis to the epidermis? Okay, you have these choices, basal, adipose, Langerhans, or hemidesimones? Hemidesimones. Hemidesimones. Hemidesimones, yes, good. All right, what... Let's see, which of the following cell types carries lymph? Lymphoids. Lymphoids. Lymphocytes. <laughs> yeah, lymphocytes, good. Okay, what do your touch receptors do? Shape and texture. Yeah, shape and texture. 
Okay, which structure composed of fatty tissue acts as a shock absorber and an insulator to protect the bones? So it's which layer? Basilator layer? No, it says what structure composed of fatty tissue? Oh, subcutaneous. Yes, there you go, subcutaneous. Okay. All right, um, warts, what's the tech, or what's its definition? <laughs> um, or its actual technical word? Oh, Veruca. Bottom Veruca. line? Yeah, Veruca. Um, How many hair okay. follicles are involved in a furuncle? One. 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 Okay, and how many are in a carbuncle? Yeah. More than many. <laughs> I just threw that one in there just to ask you. It's many. <laughs> okay. Um, a plugged sebaceous gland with an opening that's not widely dilated is called what? Whitehead. White head. Which yeah. acne is yeah. the most severe? Uh, four. Wait, I forgot. Okay, the the answer, that last one was whitehead, yeah. Which grade of acne is the most severe? Grade four. Grade four. Four. Mm -hmm. All right, now what's another name for baby acne? Oh, Melia. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Melia. <laughs> okay, a solid formation above the skin often caused by an insect bite or an allergic reaction is known as a? A wheel. A wheel, good. And what is the change in the structure of the skin tissue called? Lesion. Lesions, good. Okay. Primary lesions are changes in the structure of the skin during what stage of development? Early. Early. Early, yes. Okay. What is a highly contagious viral infection that causes eruptive blister-like clusters around the mouth, nose, and genitals? Yeah. Herpes simplex, yeah. All right. Um, what's an allergic reaction that produces an eruption of wheels called? Hives. Hives, good. Okay. All right, which form of aging is caused by external factors within the individual's control? Extrinsic. Extrinsic, Extrinsic yes. Good, okay. And according to the Fitzpatrick sched phototype scale, which skin type almost always burns and tans minimally? Type two. Type two. Type two, good. All right. Um, which of the following skin growth is the most dangerous? Melanoma. Melanoma. Right, yes, melanoma. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. A congenital disease that results in the failure of the skin to produce melanin is known as? Albinism. Albinism. Good. Okay. What skin condition is defined as a buildup of cells on the epidermis? Collagen? Wait, no. Dermatitis. Atopic. Uh -huh. Keratosis? Keratosis. Oh, <laughs> That's <was> good. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. You're all going for it. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> I know my sister has that. I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> it's all right. Keratosis can also be like almost a wart because a wart actually does that, believe it or not, because it's just the buildup of the cells, but it's also a viral infection. Okay. Which of the following conditions would not be considered an objective symptom? Papule, pustule, redness, or itching? Itching. Itching. Okay. <clears throat> and what is the condition called that's influenced by the weather? Seasonal. 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 Yeah, seasonal. seasonal. Okay. Um, a health condition that is created or influenced by your employment environment. Is called occupational disorder. Occupational, good. Okay, and the term to identify the skin's natural aging process? Intrinsic. Intrinsic, okay. Um, okay, you'll have to listen to all these first, okay? Of all the following, which is not a pigmentation disorder? Nevis, lentigo, anhydrous, or leucoderma? 
And hydrosis. And hydrosis, yeah. Because that one basically is, it's sweat. And your pigmentation and nevus is like a red mark, right? A birthmark. Lentigo is almost like a freckle and leucoderma is patches of white. So anhydrosis is the only one because it refers to sweat or the, the ability to not sweat, basically. Okay, of the following pigmentation disorders, which one would be called a freckle? Now, let me give you your options. Nevis, vitiligo, lentigo, or leucoderma? Lentigo. Lentigo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me go back to the other ones here. All right. A hereditary rash or inflammation characterized by dry, sensitive, irritated skin is known as? Atopic. Your options are oh. atopic. Yeah, good. atopic dermatitis. Okay. A pathogenic bacteria or virus that enters the body or the skin by multiplying to the point of interfering with the body's normal state causes? Infection. Infection. All right. What is an allergic reaction that produces the eruption of wheels? You've heard this one before. Mm -hmm. oh. Hive. Hives, yeah. Okay, Candida albicans is a common skin infection that's caused by? Yeast. Yeast. Okay, what are the eccrine glands responsible for? What? The eccrine glands, what are they responsible for? Do you need options? They produce sweat, right? Mm -mm. Is it hormones? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, so here's your choices. Tying muscle to bones, producing collagen, thermoregulation, or secreting sebum. Oh, Therm thermoregulation. Thermoregulation, yeah, thermoregulation. Okay, what's the name of the male hormone that's present in both men and women? And Influences the sebum. Androgen. Androgen, yeah. Okay. Um, keep going here. Okay. Of the following skin cell types, which one is found in the epidermis and has the functioning of covering and protecting? Can you say the options? Okay. Basal, fibroblast, epithelial, or melanocyte? Epithelial. Or melanocyte. Yeah. It's epithelial. Anytime it says covering, protecting, whether it's inside the body or outside, they're known as epithelial. Okay, this is an accept question. Of all the following, um, excuse me, all of the following are factors that affect the average rate of cell turnover except age, height, treatment, and skin conditions. Height. Height, yeah. Okay. Um, Going back over here. All right, which, oh, I did this one, okay, hold on. Make sure I go through all of them at least once. <laughs> okay, um, this is another accept question, okay? The apocrine glands are located in all the on the body in all of the following areas except? The soles and feet. Good, okay, and here's another except right behind it. Ec glands are most abundant in all of the following areas except underarms under the arms good <clears throat> okay um all those. okay squamous cells provide protection to the layers of the skin that are located below the stratum what corneum corneum good wow. <laughs> it's okay because all it listed was all of the, the uh, epidermis layers. Okay, what's the transparent layer of the epidermis that's the thickest on the palms and the soles of the feet called? Lucidum. Lucidum, good. All right. Um, this is a not question. Which statement listed below is not true of the stratum lucidum? It's transparent. It contains irregularly shaped cells it's the thickest on the palms and soles of, of the feet and contains thick skin areas which have whorls. Irregularly shaped cells. They're irregularly shaped, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, the epidermis is composed primarily of which of the following components? Elastin, collagen, 
mast cells or keratinos keratinocytes. Keratinocytes. Yeah, keratin. All right, one more here before I have to go back over all of them again, okay? I think we've covered most of them here. Um, which of the following epidermal layers is often called the spiny layer? Stratospinosis. Yeah, the spinosis. Okay. Um, okay, here's a not question. Which of the following is not one of the six primary functions? Secretion, regulation, protection, or performance? Performance. Yes, performance. Okay. Um, an opening in the skin that contains the root of a hair follicle is known as what? Hair follicle. Hair follicle. Good. Okay. Of the following terms, which is a complex mixture of fatty acids that keeps the skin soft, supple, and pliable? Sebum. 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 Yeah, good. Okay. Um, all right. Here's another accept question. A dermatologist specializes in treating diseases of all of the following areas except the eyes. Yes, the eyes. Good. Okay. Um, other than the brain, which of the following organs is the most complex? The skin. Yes. When two or more types of tissues connect, they make up various organs. Organs. Okay. Which term pertains to the study of the skin, its structure, functions, diseases, and treatments called? Dermatology. 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 Good. Okay. Um, We've gotten every one of the questions so far at least once. I'm just checking to make sure. Okay. Um, oh, which pigmentation disorder is commonly known as a birthmark? Vertigo? Nevis. Nevis. Is that like a, like a strawberry patch? Okay. I think I've gone through all of them at least once. I'm just checking here. Okay. Oh, no. Which acid promotes drying and cell turnover? Hydrogen. Wait, no. Uh, oh, um, Acetic acid. A zeliac. That's what you're trying to say. A zeliac. It's okay. I, I started with an A. Yeah, that's fine. You were trying to say it. Some of these words are a little difficult. Okay. Um, a foul smelling perspiration that's caused by yeast or bacteria that breaks down the sweat on the surface of the skin is called? Bromhydrosis. Bromhydrosis, <laughs> yeah. Okay. What sudoriferous gland disorder is an acute burning itching rash caused by heat? Melia rubia, rubia, rubia. Melia yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it sounds like aruba is in there. That's how I remembered it. <laughs> I just remembered chub rub because I know that's a really weird thing to say, but <laughs> when my son got it when he was younger, the doctor goes, oh, he just has chub rub. And I'm like, he's not chubby. He goes, no, it just means that it's a little, you know, they get it right behind their knees or their, their creases of their arm. You know, it's just a sweat, a heat rash. And I'm like, okay, you made it sound like it was really bad. <laughs> He goes, no, it's fine. I'm like, okay. He goes, and it's summer and people, you know, the little kids sweat. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I think I've gotten all of these at least once. So what I want to do this time going around, I'm going to call on my attendance sheet. So I'll ask each person a question, okay? And if you can't answer it, don't feel bad. Just go, hey, pass, okay? It'll, that way it'll give everyone an opportunity to try. Oh, Miranda, did you have a question, hon? Yeah, um, I had two questions real quick. Sorry, I just nailed sorry. <laughs> so um, what is lymph <laughs> was my first question? Uh-huh. It's the fluid that runs through your body next to blood. Okay, and what it does is it, it basically lets you know whether you have an infection in your body. Okay, so when the lymph backs up, say like behind in your throat, behind your ears right here, Okay, or under your armpits, like you have a lot of little areas where that lymph can back up. And when it does, just say you're going to the doctor because you weren't feeling really well. The first thing he's gonna do is check right around, I'm trying to get to get a picture of me, okay? You check right here. And if this is swollen, he knows that the infection is somewhere in this general vicinity. 
if he moves down the body and goes underneath the armpits, then he knows it's like in the respiratory. So he's basically trying to find out where you're ill. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay, thank you. And then my next okay. one was um, hemi hemidesimone. Sorry, I don't know if you already covered that. Yeah, know. that basically is connecting the dermis and the epidermis together. Okay. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, hon, if that helps. <laughs> Miss Jamie? Uh-huh? I feel like I did the whole homework wrong because I'm not getting what the girls got. So is there a way maybe I can talk to you after class to try to figure out what I did wrong? Okay, did you go through the questions that we, like when we did the questions yesterday, I gave you the answer and you just took the answers and did definitions of it. And I thought that's what I did, but I'm not getting like what anybody it's else It's not in thought. order. It's not in order no, I though. Know that. I know that, but like, for instance, dermatology, I did the branch of medicine concerned with the diagnosis and treatment of the skin disorder. Did you okay, that, that's the same thing. It's talking about what for the answer. It's the structure, functions, diseases, and treatments, right? But I didn't get that. Well, I didn't get the answer that you got. I literally where wrote you got your, Where did you get your information? Did you get it from the Google. actual book? No, okay, because I, couldn't, I called. I called and nobody could help me on this. Miss Connie couldn't help you get it on there? No. no. Okay, then you're going to have to probably come in here to the school so they can show you how to use the, the book. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why they didn't let you speak with Miss Connie. That's kind of odd. Yeah. Um, I will let her know that you called, and then I will put her your number on I there. I talked for her, to her, okay? but she couldn't. She couldn't figure it out either, and she said I just have to come in. And she okay, said, and that's what I'm asking today. you to do too. Yeah. She yeah. said yeah. come in. Because it's probably easier for you to actually be in here and somebody show you how to use it before, you know, walking you through it. You have a difficulty with, you know, trying to work, because I do too. I can't have somebody walk me through anything on the computer. I'm yeah. like, I'm lost. <laughs> I was doing what she said, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. And she agreed like something wasn't right on the iPad. Okay. okay. It's also right. helpful to um, use the slides from the pivot point. If you can't get a hold of the textbook, I use that too. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. You couldn't get it to work. Are you on an, a pa an iPad? I'm on what I can see. Miss Janie, pretty much all the answers from homework was in 8.1 and 8.2 slideshows. Yeah, so that's what I thought it, it was. has basically everything you need. Okay, she says that she can't pull it up, apparently. Right, Michelle, you couldn't pull up your 8.1 and 8.2. Okay, so you'll have to come in. Is there any way you can come into the school? Yeah, I can at 12. My man's oh. home with the baby, so. Okay, and let them walk you through it, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so you wanna go around here. Um, your first question, this one's for you, Yusra. Okay, this one is, what is the largest organ of the body called? Skin. Okay. okay. Um, Sarah, okay, which of the following studies refers to the function of the skin? You have etiology, histology, skin physiology, or morphology? Um, skin histology? Good. No, physiology. No, it's physiology, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, Miranda, you wanna try one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Which of the following is composed of hard keratin? Is it skin, hair, fingernails, or epidermis? Fingernails. Good. Okay, I'm gonna give, I will ask, give you the opportunity, all of you to um, answer it. If you need me to give you the options, just say options, okay? All right, um, Alex, this one's for you. How many primary functions are there that the skin provides? Um, six. Yes. Okay. Cassie, you ready for one? Okay. Which of the following anatomy terms identifies the tiny passageways that allow sweat or oil to pass through the surface of the skin? Pores. Good. Okay. Um, Araceli, you ready? An opening in the skin that contains the root of a hair within it is known as? Follicle. 
Oh, that's good. Follicle. Okay. Um, Jasmine, this one's for you. What's the body's largest waste removal system called? Is she here? I, I answered the skin, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> I think okay, it's, good. Good. wait a second when I unmute it, so. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. All right, um, Destiny, this one's for you. What is water mixed with salt and other chemicals that have a buildup in the body called? Um, sweat. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, Autumn, are you in here today? No. Okay. Um, Jana, this one's for you. Okay. A primary component of the skin cells is a protein substance called... Do you want options? Um, yeah, I'd like options. Okay, cuticle, keratin, adipose, or subcutaneous? Is it keratin? Subcutis, sorry. Yep, mm -hmm. good. Okay, Michelle, you wanna try one? To be honest, no, because I did the whole thing wrong. So I'm just like okay. lost like a dog right now. <laughs> okay. All right, honey. Yusura, you ready? This one's for you. Are okay. you there, hon? Yeah. Okay. What is meant by the what is meant by the true the term true skin? You want uh, options? Yeah, please. Okay. Dermis, epidermis, melanocytes, or subcutaneous layer. Epidermis? And this is the dermis. Dermis, so. Okay. That's the true one. The reason why it's called the, the true skin is because this is where actual damage is done. So if anything happens to the skin, even like a break or cut in the skin, if it goes down to the dermal layer, it's going to leave a scar when it makes its way up. So that's where permanent damage is, is located, okay? Okay. All right. Um, Sarah, okay. Um, the epidermis is primarily composed of which of the following components? Elastin, collagen, keratinocytes, or mast cells? Keratinocytes. Yes, good. Okay, um, Miranda, you want another one? Sure. She's like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, keratin is formed of which of the following substances? Protein. Oh no, okay, good. Yes, okay. Um, Alex. Okay, this one's for you. What's the layer of the epidermis called that protects the skin's moisture balance by acting as a barrier to prevent the moisture loss called? Um, the stratum corneum. Yes, good. Okay. Um, Cassie, this one's for you. Okay, um, what is the transparent layer of the epidermis that's the thickest on the palms and the soles of the feet called? Stratum lucidum. Yes, yes, <laughs> good. Okay, Aristelli. Grain-like cells are found in which layer of the skin? Stratum granulosum. granulosum. Yes, <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> Okay, um, oh God. um, Jasmine, you ready? Okay, which layer of the skin is located below the dermis and composed of primarily adipose fatty tissue? Um, the sub, oh God, how do you say it? Spell it. The subcutaneous layer? Yeah, subcutaneous, good. That was it. <laughs> I heard the SB, so I'm like, okay, maybe that's not it. <laughs> um, All right. Um, <laughs> Avery. Avery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay, the chemical conversion of living cells into dead protein cells is called? Uh, keratinization. 
Yep, keratinization, good. Okay, um, Destiny, this one's for you. Okay. Foreign substances in the body that provoke an immune response. You want options? Yeah. Okay. T cells, antigens, immune cells, or Langerhans cells? Um, Langerhans cells. Okay. I know that was a hard one. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was antigens. <laughs> okay. Okay. I should have given you another, a little easier one. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, who else? I got um, Jana. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. Jana, are you ready for one? Okay. Yeah. This Collagen makes up approximately what percentage of the dermis? Oh, 70%. Yes. All right, sorry, <laughs> it wasn't gonna wait. Okay, um, Mich oh, she's not gonna take this. Okay, you Sura, this one's for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, the integramentary system is made up of which of the following components? You have cells and organs, skin and its layers, tissues and muscles, or epithelial and skeletal cells? Tissue and muscle. This one's gonna be skin and its layers, okay? Oh. The integramentary system is the skin and its layers, okay? Right, um, Sarah. Okay, um, what type of cells protect the body from infection and are found in the stratum spinosum layer? Oh. Epithelial? No. Okay. I don't. What this is one fights the um, infection? Oh, T cells. Okay, so we have. I'm going to give you your options: T cells, basal cells, epithelial cells, or Langerhans cells. Oh. Langerhans. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was hard, huh? I know that, that the Langerhans yeah. cells and the antigens and the T cells are all like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But those are the really important. anything with cells is hard for me. Can you I'm sorry. Can you repeat that question? Can I repeat it? So like we get that one in our head. Yeah. Can you repeat it? Yeah. It's what type of cells help protect the body from infection? And they're found in the stratum spinosum. Okay. The other one that gets kind of confusing is foreign substances in the body that will provoke an immune response, these would be antigens, okay? Because it's letting you know there's something going on. Okay, little flag warnings, I guess you could say. Miss Janie, this is gonna be one. on YouTube, right, today? Yes. Okay, good, because I'm gonna use it later to study. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Okay, and then the T cells, which is the other one that gets everyone confused, okay? It's which of the following organisms represents immune cells that recognize the antigens to assist in destroying them. Okay, so your T cells actually help recognize the antigens, okay, and assist in destroying them. But the foreign substances in the body will actually promote the antigens to start working. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna read all three of them again so that you get this, all right? Which of the following organisms represents immune cells that recognize antigens and assist in destroying them? That's gonna be your T cells. I know um, if you've ever heard of anyone that had HIV, okay, they're always watching their T cell count, okay, to make sure that everything's okay. Now, foreign substances in the body that will provoke that immune response would be your antigens, okay? Everybody got that part of it? And your Langerhans cells are going to be the cells that help protect the body from infection. Okay, and they're located in the stratum spinosum. Everybody got that one now? You understand <laughs> that part of it anyways? All right, your Langerhans are going to notify you. 
Okay. Are, are you finished asking the questions because you never yeah. called? Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. see that come back in the class. <laughs> well, I've been here this whole time. Oh, okay. I just kept coming in and out. You, and that's why I didn't see you. I'm so yeah, sorry. I'm, of course, I always give you this feel, but I'm always here. And they call me saying that I'm never in class and I'm always here. I'm a mother. I have a lot going on, but I'm here. You may not see me, but I'm here. I hear everything you're saying and I'm, yeah, you didn't call my name. Okay, I'm so sorry. All right, do you wanna answer one more questions here? It's up to you if you wanna ask it, I'm fine. No, no I, to, I'd love to ask it. I just wanted okay. you to know so you can acknowledge me also. Okay, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. I'm not kidding, I did not see you and it didn't pop up until a second ago. I've seen you like twice come in, but it, then it just popped up and then you were gone and I'm like, okay, where'd that go? Because <laughs> it does have little... And not to burden you guys with my issues, but I'm washing. I just got home. My daughter, she's still in pain. So I'm doing everything and I'm carrying the phone with me and I hear you. I'm, I'm paying attention. You may not see my face, oh. but I'm... Okay. Okay. All right. Your question is going to be, where are the mast cells located? And these are your options. Subcutaneous, apocrine, the dermis, or the eccrine glands say ooh, I want to say the last two the dermis or the the gland it's yeah it's the dermis good okay. it is the dermis thank okay. you no problem okay um did I get you Gianna yet on your second round I wasn't sure where I left off there I just lost her page too you still there hun Gianna okay I will go back to you Sarah so I'm not getting an answer there. Okay. What do the pseudoriferous glands produce, Usra? You have um, water, saliva, sweat, or sebum. Sebum. This one's gonna be um, sweat. We have a sebaceous gland that secretes sebum, okay, and you have a pseudoriferous, which is that funky name, okay, that actually produces your sweat, okay, mm -hmm. just help me with those two. The it's way I remember, yeah, it's sweat on that one. The way I remember I'm that sorry, go one, ahead. the way I remember that one is um, sebaceous is S-E-B, and then sebum mm -hmm. is S-E-B, and then pseudoriferous yeah. is going to be sweat, it's the opposite Right. One. Yeah, um, that's what I basically said before. It just helps because the wording is, is funky. I tried that, one, but it does help because sebaceous and sebum, and you just know that it's oil. I remember that one because sudor in Spanish is sweat. So. Yep. And that's another one that I've used too. You guys have helped, helped me when you actually needed help on how to remember it. So helping each other out is a wonderful idea. Okay. Um, Sarah. Okay, your question is going to be, of the following skin cell types, which is found in the epidermis and has the function of covering and protecting? Okay, you have basal. Uh, go ahead. The, I'm sorry, go ahead with the options. Okay, basal, fibroblasts, epithelial, or melanocytes? Epithelial. Good, good. Okay, Miranda, you ready for another one? <laughs> yeah, I'll do another one. Okay, sebaceous glands originate from which of the following areas? Your options are the subcutaneous layer, the acid mantle, the dermis, or the epidermis? Um, the subcutaneous level? No, the this subcutaneous is in the, it's in the dermis. Do you want to hear something even crazier? Okay, you guys, everything that's alive is in the dermis. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but like hair follicles and your, your ducts and everything, they're all in that area. So a lot of questions that ask where is something located outside of fat, because that's in the only thing that's in the subcutaneous, everything's in the dermis that's alive. Okay, it's a little joke. I used to go like this, it's alive, because everything in there was moving <laughs> actually, you know, doing something for the skin where the epidermis is dead and then the subcutaneous only contains fat. 
So there's a way to remember that thing, okay? All right, you got 1101. I'm gonna give you until 11, 12, 13, 11, 13, okay? And I'll see you guys back on your break, all right? And we'll take this up again. Thank you. <laughs> If I come, it's Michelle. I'm sorry. I feel very huh? not right now. Um, I did. I did the homework. I just think I did it wrong. Is there a way that I can maybe get from you the way you have it, so I can make flashcards to do it right to study? That would be giving you all the questions and the answers, dear, and I can't do that part. Okay. We just need you to do actually use the words from this textbook instead of Google. That's why it, that's why you're coming up with those different answers. Okay. Okay. I will give you credit because you did that part of it. Okay? Yeah. But in order, and you're going to be doing this chapter and not, you're not being tested on it yet. Okay. Except for a little quiz that's on the pivot point, 8.2, that little challenge. That's all you're going to have until you actually get I into the I school. I think I already did that. Okay, so then you're only going to be doing, okay, you're only going to be doing that test when you come into the school, all right? But it'll come around towards the end of your program because it'll be one of the last chapters that you do. Okay, is there a way that maybe I can talk to you today and show you what I at least did and then you can tell me like if it's wrong or how I can fix it so I can study and get it right? Okay, just give it to Miss Connie and then she will hand it to me, okay? So when she shows you how to fix your computer, then you, she can bring it to me. Okay. okay. All right. All righty. Sorry, I'm okay. trying. I'm just kind of stuck in a corner today. <laughs> That's why yeah. I'm saying it's not that I don't want to see. I'm just stuck in a corner. <laughs> okay. All right. But okay. I didn't. I don't sweat it. Huh? No, I I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give you the credit. Okay. okay. I, I took me credit. seven hours. You know, I. I did the work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That would be frustrating if you did it all on that. But yes. I, I will give you credit for it, okay? Okay, okay. All right. And I'll be in today because, um, like I said, my man's home with the baby, so I actually can focus and okay. see you guys without him. So, okay, thank you so much. I'm going to take my break. <laughs> okay, okay. Hun. Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> Somebody come talk to Julia, come get Julia for I'll break her neck. Hello? What is the problem? Man, bro, I'm, I'm telling you. She came in here yesterday. Me and Jay Mon had a maid come clean up this house. She come in yesterday letting her kids eat Cheeto puffs all on the couch. Then she get them a bath, leave a whole ring around the tub. I'm like, can you clean that? Then you come in. Bring with the, the, the everything is clean. You come in, sit this on the side of the thing. That's not happening. We keep the stuff clean. She get mad this morning. Text their mind. Y'all want to be some petty ass bitches? Why is she knocking on my door? Bang wait a door. minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say this. Let me say this, and let me be very, very clear. This is what. Miss Jeannie? Yeah, was I that you? Question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so this week I started working on like getting stuff ready for like state board practice. Um, and there were a few things that like, that I didn't really like be able to find yet. So I'm gonna look in the Dollar Tree and the desk stuff. Um, do I need to have that ready for Thursday or can oh, I no. like work on that? No, no. Uh -uh. 
Okay. No, you won't have to keep it until, yeah, no, it won't be. I'll have to work with you with your facials first anyways. Okay. To get your manipulations down. So don't worry. It'll probably be next week or the following week. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Cause I started want. getting it. <laughs> I started getting it ready and I put it in its bags and they're just like Good a few girl. things missing. <laughs> um, yeah. It takes a, it don't worry, a lot of the stuff, a, a, a lot of the stuff, like the um, things that you have to carry here, disposable is kind of like your iPads and stuff, I buy for the students. Okay? Oh, okay, so you can fill that stuff in, like tissues and stuff, I buy that. Okay? Okay. So don't yeah, worry I'm... about it, that stuff will be, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I got I got the majority of it. So I was like, at least I have like a little base in case I did need it this week in class. Okay. Yeah, and then It'll I make also- It'll more put... sense like this time. Yeah, and then I also put all my like Dermalogica stuff, because I did, I did get uh, my, part of my kit so I got like all mm -hmm. the Dermalogica bag because um Devin found another one and so he gave me uh -huh. that so I have all my facial stuff I did put it in smaller containers but I'm still going to bring in like the main containers because I want to like be able to like know what is right. what still because I'm mm -hmm. still working through my Dermalogica training on the okay. product mm -hmm. the DNA but, yeah and I, I mean okay. I did it for bare minerals so it's pretty like similar or like familiar for me working with mm -hmm. skincare and makeup because I've been doing it for over right. a year now but I all put it I put it all in like a suitcase so then it's like rolly and it has all my like steam towels and everything oh, in it, so. okay yeah because we'll have to ask you to bring in a sheet and your own little blanket if you want to use that otherwise it's disposable for right now yeah I, through, I um, have it I have it all in like a suitcase like a sheet a blanket all my um smaller travel size and then also steam towels and then a book so I know like what the product does. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay, I'm just gonna try to send this message out real quick. Uh huh. I just sent over a message. I have an appointment at Kaiser today at eleven thirty, and then I'm coming there to the school to um, pick some things up. This is Adrian, Andrian Bill. Okay, so I'm gonna fine. sign off right now because my doctor's appointment is at eleven thirty in Modesto. But I'll watch it on. Um, YouTube. YouTube. I think I've been doing it the wrong way on YouTube, so I'll ask those questions when I get to the school today. All righty, hon. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm going to send this message out really quick. Sorry. Okay. Cassie. <laughs>
my mom still has uh-huh. all her heads from when she was in cosmetology school 20 uh-huh. years ago and oh so um, she has all the manipulations drawn on it and so I'm like oh I can use this one to like practice and learn what school did she go to um Hayward cosmetology Hayward? school but they're not around anymore oh good thing because yeah. now we got you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so she's so funny because she was like, when I got home last week, she was like um, uh-huh. chatting with me. She was like, what'd you learn? Like, oh, I remember learning that. And she's so funny. <laughs> or she's like, oh, I love Dermalogica and stuff like that. And so <laughs> it's always fun That's to good. talk to her about like beauty stuff. She's doing a haircut right now, actually, downstairs. Really? <laughs> yeah. She works from home. That's she has funny. a little salon downstairs. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, really nice. For- I thought about that at one time and I'm like, no, I kind of want them to leave. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to leave my place at home just so I could have a, you know, a different area to work in. <laughs> yeah. But it well, always seems like seven, a good idea. Huh? A, mom to seven, a mom to seven kids. She's always been working from oh, home. Oh my God. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, that would be crazy. <laughs> She's Oops, the best. I got two people sitting now. <laughs> I can't even imagine having that many children. I, I just like praise these women that do. I actually praise anybody that has more than one because <laughs> that's as far as I got. <laughs> yeah, we're all, all right. adopted. So we're all adopted at different times. So it was like Aww. a little easier. That's sweet. That's really sweet. Wow. Now you have something really in common with your mom, huh? <laughs> something outside of just learning that part of it. Yeah. Oh, is Come on, have nine, Miss Jenny. Your what? My mom have nine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, five oh boys, gosh. four girls. No, no, it's nice. The family, you know, the best things in the life, family. You know, we eat together, we sit together at night. Not like uh, you alone with your husband that said once one child, two child. No, the family nice. Right. Yeah, we eat together. Oh, wow. oh my God, I like it. I love large families. <laughs> I can't wait to have a large family of my own. Hell no. <laughs> right? Like my my grandpa Jasmine's like, no. <laughs> no, my my grandparents from my dad's side had 15 and my grandparents from my mom's side had 13. Oh yeah, they got busy. Oh. Wow. I was like, wow. no, it's fun when you have parties and stuff, but it's, then it's too much drama. And then it's just too much. It's, just <laughs> it's like it's too expensive nowadays, I feel like. Oh, because <laughs> you got to get a gift for all of them, huh? <laughs> Do, you got to buy a house. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a bedroom, Dad. A big house, a huh? Family. So I have two, and then my man has one. So we got three kids together. So good luck trying to find a four or three bedroom. It's expensive out here, you know? <laughs> That's a good I know. <laughs> I'm just making sure everybody gets back into the room that was trying, because I didn't see that. Doesn't pop up all the time right away. Okay. All right. Are we ready to start back up again? We eat. I want to eat. Okay. <laughs> Test me. <laughs> all right. What are you eating there? Destiny. <laughs> like, what are you eating there? <laughs> Sound. <laughs> Sound. Can't hear you. You have your mute. <laughs> You're still silent. <laughs> Are you talking to me, Miss Janie? No, I'm talking to Destiny, but oh, I, don't know I was trying to tell her she's on mute. <laughs> and she's trying to talk. And I'm like, okay. Um. <laughs> All right. Who is the last person that got the chance to answer the question? Oh, here she comes. She probably had to come back in. There she is. Hi, sorry. You didn't have sound. You didn't have sound, so I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I'm doing it on my phone, and I, it was like weird for a second. But um, I'm eating yogurt and granola. Oh, well, good for you. Healthy. Wait, let me make sure everyone else has. You, I got one up here that's got Destiny already on there twice. Gianna, are you still there, hon? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. So, Miss, I, I come in and get it fixed because I don't have school tomorrow. I can do 
50 tonight and then 50 tomorrow when she shows me how to do it and then I'll be on track. Okay. But like I said, you're going to go through it again one more time. Yeah, I know. I just, right. I want to be able to, I have ADHD. So I just want to be able to study as much as I possibly can. Cause I'll hear it. And then it okay. goes out one ear. So, okay. I just want to, yeah, you, you really can't use the Google. I mean, it gives you a, a pretty heavy definition. It, that's probably oh, why it took so long. Definitions off Google. They're great, but they're but that's not. What I'm saying. It's way too long. Yeah. That's probably <laughs> and, why and what's funny is, yeah. <laughs> What's funny though is this, when you're reading the chapter, if you actually take the definition from the chapter, okay, it's one sentence. But if you use the glossary or a search engine, it's going to give you three sentences. So what's going to be easier to do is to read it in, in the chapter and write the sentence out. Yeah, so I'll have to have her in show that me. sense. In that sense, I would be like reading the chapter, okay, and then look, when I saw a word that was going to come up, then I would actually use that definition and fill it in. Do you see what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. As opposed to using a search engine to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it fun easier. Yeah, sorry yeah, about yeah. that. I didn't mean to mess up my okay. whole homework. I did what you said <laughs> a little more in depth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really detailed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very all right, who was, who was the last person that got a question? Because they got me, all kinds of stuff, and I can't remember. Miranda, was you? Yeah. Okay. After you is Alex, then. Okay. All right, Alex, your question is, which of the following epidermal layers is often known as the spiny layer? Do you want options? Uh, the shadow. I can't hear you. Stratum spinosum. Oh, yes. Good. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Um, Cassie, this one's for you. Okay. Um, what are the ridges called that provide the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet with traction? You got options? Yes. Okay. Squamous cells, dermal ridges, Decimones or whirls? Whirls. Yes, good. You know why they're there? Actually, it's because once you um, get in the shower, you know how you get those little wrinkly marks because you've been in the shower too long, right? Well, if you didn't have those little tractions on there, you wouldn't be able to hold anything when your hands are wet. So <laughs> it's a good thing we do have those on the end of our fingers. <laughs> Same thing with our feet. They try to keep us from slipping <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, Araceli. Good morning here. <laughs> yes. All right. This is this is your question. Okay. Squamous cells provide protection to the layers of the skin that are located below the stratum. What? Below the stratum. Oh yes. Okay. Good girl. Okay. Um, Jasmine, this one's for you. Okay, um, the subcutaneous layer of the skin is composed primarily of which type of tissue? Um, Want options? I know, I, I know it. Yeah, give me the options because I know it. Just Okay, corium, cuticle, adipose, or adipose. subcutis? Adipose. Adipose is right, yes. <laughs> Good. All right, Avery, this one's for you. Okay, the chemi chemical, no, we did that one. Okay, what cells cover and protect the inside of the body? Epithelial? Yes, good. I was, I'm not having to do the options here, but it doesn't hurt. Destiny, you ready? <laughs> okay. In the superficial layers of the epidermis, all the cells are, and finish that sentence. Do you um, want options? Is there, okay, yeah, I wanna hear. Okay, alive, dying, dead, or growing? Um, you said the epidermis, right? Uh-huh. Um, did you hear me? Did you say it? Uh, alive? Uh-uh, go ahead. No, they're dead. The ones in the epidermis are dead. 
but the live ones in the dermis. Okay, that's where all that working stuff is at. Blood vessels, nerve endings, that kind of stuff, hair follicles, that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. but the epidermis is on the dead side. <laughs> okay. Um, Gianna, this one's for you. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sebaceous glands continually use and secrete. Oh, I'm getting a freeze here. Yeah, you're going to have to repeat that. <laughs> okay. So, sebaceous glands. And your freeze bad like i honestly i can't i only heard the first word there we go <laughs> i know I, i'm freezing up here too okay let me try this again where'd she go Hello, this is actual an internet problem. This is not a <laughs> okay. There you go. You're starting to move now. Okay. Were you able to hear me? No. Okay. All right. Sebaceous glands continually produce and secrete what? Sebum? Tears, sweat, so like, go ahead. I said sebum, but I don't know if that's. Okay, good. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> With me? <laughs> yes? Yusra? Yeah. There you are. Okay. Here's your question. Okay. What sub layer of the epidermis is the toughest? You have keratinocytes, stratum basal, stratum lucidum, or stratum corneum. The up. Which one is the toughest? Can you say again, please? Hello? I can't hear you. I think she froze again. Okay, I'm gonna log off and log back in. Okay, hold on. There you go. Are you still with me, guys? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to log off and then log back in, okay? Right back. <laughs> 